When I started going on photo shoots, I was so awkward. I didn't know how to plan, what I needed, what to do with my face or my hands. But like everyone else, I started from somewhere. And today, I'm going to be sharing beginner tips into getting good photos during photo shoots. What's up good people? It's your homegirl Foy Wamboy and welcome to this new video. If you are new to my channel, Karibu Sana. And if you are an old subscriber, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> so today's video is all about taking good photos. I have a few tips that I want to share. So let's just jump into the video. Tip number one is very easy. Determine the kind of shoot that you want. Is it a beauty uh, kind of shoot that you want? Is it fashion? Is it outdoor? Is it indoor? Is it studio kind of photos are you two are you three so basically create a mood board around everything that you want and a mood board is basically like a collection of pictures that sort of visually guide you and the photographer and the stylist and anyone in that project to sort of know exactly what you want to achieve from that um sort of shoot the next tip is research so we have Cynthia, the model extraordinaire and we have charles from focus africa and um, you guys, what are some of the tips you have for anyone who wants to take good photos? Whether a model, whether someone who's starting up, what are some of the tips you have? Research. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, research, um, you know, things like YouTube, Pinterest, uh, Instagram, mm -hmm. other Instagram accounts that actually speak to you. That's how you sort of learn how to pose and learn what works for you and what doesn't work. I'm not saying you copy paste exactly what someone is doing, but let this research that you're doing guide you and influence you to be able to take good photos. Practice, like, I, I know you've heard this so many times, but practicing really, really, really helps. Make sure you practice a lot. Go out, take pictures, like just bring a friend over. It's not a must, it has to be a paid thing. Just get a friend, once they to experiment and just like, you know, make sure you get something good coming out of it. Like, yeah, even if it's, even if it's not good, just it's okay. You can keep on practicing and you shall be yeah. good. Yeah. Location. Location is something that's very important, you guys, and it's influenced by your mood board and the kind of photos that you want to take. You don't have to go all out of your way, pay Sidri how much to get a good location. You can even go outside your house and use your atmosphere to be able to get a good photo, but it should be influenced by your mood board. And so us, when I was doing the photo shoot with Shem, we just went to somewhere with just bare land, just grass, and it was just, you know, very bare and minimal, yeah? So. Everything is planned, we have our makeup done, we have our outfits ready, and we are there at the location. I feel like one of the most important things when you're starting to shoot with your photographer is you need to be comfortable. Let me tell you, when you are comfortable and when you're having fun, you get the most beautiful photos because your body is even like flexible, you're not like rigid, you can pose and move and you feel confident and comfortable in yourself. So how to make yourself comfortable and confident is basically have a rapport with your photographer. So especially if it, it's a new person you're working with, maybe it's your first time, go, go for coffee before. Do something before. I'm not saying you go on a date, just even maybe travel to the location together. Have small conversations that sort of ease the tension because when there's tension, you guys. So for us, like we danced, we sang, we were just having a good time before we started shooting. <laughs> The next thing, please be comfortable with your body. I know it's a journey, but you need to understand what works for you. You need to understand, you know, if you have a best side, I don't, but for those guys who have a best side, you can be able to tell which is your best side. You can be able to tell which features you like the best. So for me, my face is my favorite feature of myself. So you'll find that in most pictures, I'll sort of do such kind of poses, you know, that sort of concentrate your eyes towards my face. So like I'll do like foot poses with my hands on my face like that. So when you're looking at the picture, you're more drawn into my face because I'm sort of framing my face, yeah? What inspires your sort of 
um, extravagant <laughs> poses. Uh, I enjoy what I do, what I do. So mm-hmm. I feel like <laughs> yes. Uh, so it's about having fun, being mm-hmm. comfortable. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't let uh, like if you're not comfortable raising one leg, um, I don't think you should do it. Mm-hmm. And yeah, just being comfortable, having fun. Yeah. Hiya. Yeah. So another tip is, don't be afraid to change in the wild. <laughs> yep. Because That's what we doing. Yeah. You know sometimes. Um, whatever you're wearing, you can't just wear it in town. Yeah. People will just look at you like, what is, what is wrong with these people? So you have to be able to change wherever you are. And where we are shooting today, um, uh, kuna shaging room. So to the kwa bundus. Yeah. We're going to the bundus. So there are different kinds of poses that you can do. And this is such a wide topic that would probably need a video of its own. So yeah, actually, if you want to know more about posing and the kind of poses that maybe you can do for different shoots, please tell me in the comments and then maybe I can follow up with a different kind of video to help you guys in that. But when it comes to posing, what I want to talk about is collaboration between you and the photographer. So um, we were talking about, uh, what are we talking about? Oh yeah, like when you're shooting with a photographer, how sometimes like models feel like the f- photographer is the one who's supposed to give all the poses. I saw they normally like at his I don't know what to do. You're the photographer. Tell yeah. Me, like, Excuse me. And and sometimes it's vice versa. Yeah, but you know like if it's a collaboration. Yo, yeah. Do something like something. Let's work with what you what yeah. you're having. Like let's start from there. Even if like you're not good with it. Since it's a collaboration, mm. we're learning from each other. So you know, yeah. You can't just start here coming. It's like you're the one directing. No, I'm the one who's directing. Yeah, the like you're the one giving the whole. Okay, what's the next? What's the next pose? Because like when we're shooting, you mm. realize like when you do one pose, it gives the other person creativity to, to do, do yeah, to, to give, give you another, another pose. Exactly. So yeah. it's like one pose, then one pose, then oh, move your hand like this. Let's do this. Let's remove Let's your car. Uh-huh. Exactly. Chin down. <laughs> you know, yeah. not at the killer time. You're just like. Now, now, what do I do? That's why we were talking about practice and research. Exactly. Because that's how you'll know poses, yeah? yeah. So you can research on my Instagram. <laughs> and mine too. And his, follow me, follow me. And, and this guy is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lighting. You guys, lighting is so important when it comes to taking good photos. Whether you're taking photos of yourself, your cat, your dog, uh, something that's on the floor, lighting is so 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 important and probably you guys already know this so when it comes to taking good photos of yourself natural light works really well if you know in a studio of course the studio lights come in handy and also golden hour you guys the shoot that we did with Shem and uh, Cynthia and Charles it was during golden hour and the photos came out really well if you don't know what golden hour is it's the time after sunrise and the time before sunset next tip your angles, angles, na kuabia. Hagos ni muhimu tena sana. Kwa sababu hagos dio zinafanya wewe ukae mzuri kwa yo picha. Let me tell you. There are so many people I've met and they're like, hey, Foy, you normally look taller in your photos. It's because of the angles. So when you take your pictures from a lower angle, you definitely look like you're taller. Your legs look slimmer and longer and sexier and you just look, mm, you look snatched. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't take photos from a higher angle. Just know what angle complements you. The next thing is collaboration. If you want to have like really bomber's photos, you need to be ready to accommodate people. So this basically means, of course, there's a photographer and there's you as the model, but you'd probably also need someone to hold the reflector, someone maybe to take BTS videos, someone to just cheerlead. Oh my gosh, let me tell you, it's so important to have people around you who have positive energy because that gives you psych. When we were doing the shoot with Shem, we did this picture that I had a net on my face, yeah? But the net looks like it's sort of hanging somewhere. And if you just look at it, it's like, wow, oh my gosh, is this net just floating in thin air? But in real sense, Cynthia and Charles were holding the net on the, on both sides, yeah? And then now they had to stand in an angle where they wouldn't be seen. And that's so important because, yo, sometimes you want to take bomber shots, but muko wawiri, ama muko bumoja. And the last tip that I have today is have fun when you're doing a shoot you guys if you have fun you will have the best pictures trust me 
so yes those are all the tips that i had to share in this video if you want a more detailed in-depth video on certain aspects please leave a comment below and i'll be able to see it and maybe plan for a future video also if you have other tips that you'd like to share for beginners who want to take really good photos please leave them in the comment section so yeah that is it for this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up remember also to subscribe if you haven't till the next video bye